Okay, hello, welcome to my uh, version of how to use Tracker DJ. Uh, first of all, if you need help with the uh, console, just click this button here, and each time you put your uh, cursor over a certain uh, button, it will tell you what to do in the uh, in the screen there. Okay. Okay, to so set up your audio, uh, click Preferences. Then Audio Setup. Sound Card. And you want this on Internal Sound Card. These, if you click that button there, that'll be the sound cards that are available. I just have one at the moment. Um, there's your bit right, and there's your latency. Shouldn't really need to play with those. Okay, now this is your uh, sound card. I have a uh, four-way sound card. Uh, these first top, the first two top ones. Um, is the master out the the bottom two there are headphones so I'll get them just right where it's uh, two one or two at the top two or three just play around with that them settings uh, you should find that uh, okay all right to apply the settings just to see what it sounds like before you commit yourself uh, just press apply to uh, make the settings concrete, click OK. Preferences again. Uh, you may want to uh, make a few adjustments to maybe the mixing mixer. Uh, uh, synchro start there at the top. Now what I do is I uh, I click the reset, uh, I tick the box on reset mixer controls when loading track and reset mixer controls on loading track. I think I got that wrong then, but never mind. That was my preferences anyway. Click apply and OK. OK, you should be more or less set up. Sound wise. Uh, OK, headphone mixing. This is the uh, mix of the headphone. Okay. This is the volume of your headphones. And to listen to the left deck, press Q. To listen to the two decks together, click them both. To listen, listen to the right deck, click the Q button on the right. There's your crossfader. This is your browser. Okay, to find the uh, MP3s that you've got on your hard drive, click on Explorer and uh, wherever you've put them. I've put mine in D drive. Music MP3s, if you expand that one, that's what I called the file. Okay. Now, if you double-click on where your music is, it will highlight the, uh, the tracks. Then do a right-click on your tracks, add to collection, and all those tracks now should be in your music collection. Uh, this one minute. There we go. Now if we go to the top of there, 
we click on track collection and there they all are so now we find a track do you see the uh, apostrophe in yellow there on the uh, left hand side uh, those are tracks that it doesn't seem to have found so my mistake here now I'm picking up MC Hammer but it won't play it and um, the help uh, window at the top what I showed you earlier when you put your cursor over uh, certain items and it tells you what they are that would be that would be flashing red right now telling me that I can't play that track it's not available for some reason so it won't play it I should really have reshot this video come on right here we go right we're gonna loop for one without a apostrophe now 49ers so we drag we drag and drop so we pick it up there the 49ers and we put it in the deck that we want okay bring the crossfader over alright now we're at pitch control just here bring the pitch control right right down okay and uh, if you press the key button it'll, it, it will it will bring the tempo back up but keep the speed so it'll sound right at, at a, a lower BPM if you understand what I mean Okay, that's your pitch bend when you're mixing. And of course, this is your um, loop. That's looping at uh, two beats. And if you do a right click on the loop button, it'll give you the option of two beats, four beats, eight beats, whatever loop your um, loop to be. And that'll be seamless looping. So if you hit it just right, the sound just right. Okay. Now that's the loop function. Here's your sync button. Now, if I was to load a, a track into the other deck, I would press sync, then play it, uh, and press sync again.